Hello and welcome to the fourth installment of Retro Rush, and as they say, four is death. Welcome to Jaws. By LJN Toys, well actually they've published them. As it turns out, um, Weststone Bit Entertainment actually made this game. So that's probably why it's a little more funner than uh, LJN. Hey oh! <laughs> Anyways, so, in this game, you're trying to hunt down Jaws. Good old turbo button. But you're also having to hunt down these guys, too, so... And collect shells to get power-ups to take out Jaws. And that's basically it. It's pretty fun, it's pretty arcadey. It's obvious that it's not like 100% Jaws, like, I'd be like, Oh, remember the scene in Jaws where the scuba diver has to shoot stingrays? Nah. The game has a lot of RPG elements. Like, it's the random encounters and leveling up. And it's pretty fun and inventive that way. And, it, and of course, there's a score system, because what game does not have a score system back in these days? Oh, shit! Okay, so when you die, you lose half your shells, and have to start, yep, from the beginning. I thought I killed that Stingray. Oh, no! Okay, it was inevitable that we hit Jaws, but... Wait. Haha! Eat spear, Jaw. This is not gonna... This is not gonna... There's also a boss. Like, this is the boss you encounter throughout the game. But it's not gonna make any shit, because... I'm pretty much just gonna... You know, like... He's gonna recover the health I deplete. You need to have, like, a higher level to actually make some damage in him, which is part of the reason why you actually have to play the, uh, why you have to collect those shells in the first place, because then you have to collect power-ups and all that. So, watch, as soon as, uh, I think as soon as his little babies come in, that's when I know that this encounter is almost over. Yep, here he is. Gotta get out of the way. And trigger the... Come on. There we go. Okay, so he's gonna recover that much health by the time this uh, thing is over. But I like this, because it's like... Boom. You just... Yeah, depending on how many you hit, that's how many shells you get. So, this is probably gonna make up for most of the lost shells I had when I died. Doesn't this remind you of, like, Pokemon? This song? Boom! And one more for the- uh, damn! Okay, but that's okay. You got 20, so that makes, like, 5 shells? No, 6 shells! I don't know how they divide up the points, but... SHIT! Oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay, okay, gotta touch. SHIT! Okay, change your plan, change your plan, change your plan. Oh no, that's too many pixels. Oh shit, I, I had it, I had it before. There we go. Okay. Viva la glitch. Crikey, that was close. And Viva La... The, uh... The Turbo Max. Okay, good. Let's get... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, okay. So, this doesn't really do shit. Ah, but it's still... Okay, 
but it lets me know how close Jaws is. There he is. Okay. There we go. Now we got a higher power level, so now we can do start doing some damage in Jaws. But I have low shells, so I gotta grind for shells. I don't want to face Jaws just yet, because I'll spend all my efforts uh, fighting Jaws, so... I'm gonna try and get away from him, if I can. There we go. It was only at the edge of the world that I- Oh, fuck! There we go. I, I forgot I was not pressing turbo. And the crab gives you power up, so it's like y y super speed. And and sharks always give you a shell, so that's good. All right, so I think I have enough shells, but it wouldn't hurt to have one more encounter. There we go. Oh, this is a uh, a special stage where you only fight jellyfish. Which is terrible because you can't hang to the bottom of the sea because if you do, that happens. But yeah, this game isn't really frustrating. It's really challenging if you can, uh... If... Like, but if you know what you're doing, then... Okay, so is it gonna still be jellyfish? Yep. So I have to clear the stage then. Before I can move on. I think they have, like, a set number of, like, encounters to have, and it's, like, it's not, like, random encounters, actually, it's just, it's, it's definitely, like, their, their levels? Oh, okay, so, it's, it's mostly jellyfish, but there's also stingrays. But yeah, this is a really fun, uh, game, it's very arcadey, very, uh... Um... Very, uh, JRPG-ish. This is like, this is like... Like, the only way this could be any cooler is if the entire map changes every time your character dies. So you have to travel again. But that's just me. I, I'm a, I'm a roguelike kind of guy. But the game is... The game doesn't really give you that much variety, though, if you know exactly what's going on, so... That's why I sort of wanted it to have, like, a sort of map changes every time you die, but... Eh, beggars can't be choosers. Besides, back then, they probably couldn't make roguelikes, so... You know, again, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I shouldn't really give this game crap just because it was published by LJN. Because, again, they didn't even make it, they just published it. So, uh, so it just carries a stigma that just because it's LJN automatically makes it bad. But this is like one of the few games that are the exception. Because this game is pretty fun. I've played this game quite a lot, actually. Not as a kid, but like, in 2006, 2007. And this game is pretty challenging. I'm not even cheating this time, because I usually like use the rewind function to just turn back time, but I don't think I've even had that, and I died, so I think that's game over, yep. But yeah. So, you know what? I think I'm going to devote some time to saying what I think about, uh, Jaws. It's fun. Seriously, play this game. It's, it's probably the most fun you ever have. Um, so the composer for this game is, um, Shinichi Sakamoto. And, like, the wiki I even states, well, Wikipedia, they even say that, uh, he didn't make any explicit references to John Williams' work.
Yeah, but this game is pretty fun. It is... Oh, wow! Okay, so this was based off Jaws 4. You know, Jaws the Revenge. So, you know, I, I, I can't... I kept up the, uh... I kept up the cool, uh, number sequencing theme. Yeah, loosely based off the game. <laughs> but... Yeah. That's it. That's Jaws. I liked it. Go pick it up when you have a chance. Adios, amigos.